welcome by a video tutorial of Magento Commerce. My name is Hans Kruipers from Jirio and with this tutorial I will show you how to install the developer toolbar and how to work with it. All you need is a running installation of Magento. This tutorial is based on a community edition of Magento but will also work for the enterprise version. During the, during the development of your website you sometimes have to switch on the path hints in order to know in what files some code is stored. Activating the path hints for easy development can take some time. You only need it for just a sec and then you it can be disabled again. Same goes for in inline translations. What a hassle it is to go to the back end of a website in order to get this uh, activated path hints. You have to go to the back end, then go to configuration, system configuration, scroll down to developer. Once you get there, you go to the debug, you see there's no path hint, but then I know, okay, it's main website I have to choose. Wait again and see, hey, path hints are there again, save config, go back to the front end, reload this page, and see my path hints. Now I know the header code is in front end, default, default, template, page, HTML, header, dot PHTML. Well, once I know that I can switch it off again. What a hassle it is, what a hassle it is. And it's not only once, you have to do it a couple of times during the development, so it takes some time. And MageWorld.com uh, came with a solution, the developer toolbar for Magento. And you can activate the patent with a single click. In, uh, the developer toolbar can be downloaded from the Magento site itself. Just look, just type in developer in the search bar and then I'm going to use this one Magento Connect Developer Toolbar. And there it is, the developer toolbar and there's a screenshot below here. Once activated on your website it adds a tab bar on the bottom of your screen and there you can activate the front end link hit hints. The only thing you have to do is click on get extension, I agree with the extension, license agreement and click on get extension. Select, copy, go back to my backend of Magento, to Magento system, Magento connect, Magento connect manager, paste the copied extension key in this bar, wait and now it's installed, click on refresh and you can see it over there. HM developer toolbar, return to admin and by default it's installed and switched on so it's over here already and now with just one click you can activate the front end hints you can deactivate the front end hints you can activate translate in line so you can translate your website in line it's quite easy to use. When you're done developing your website, you switch it off. Go back to your Magento backend, go to System, Configuration. Scroll down to Developer. Click on Developer Toolbar and switch Enabled, Yes to Enabled, No. Save Config. Go back to the front end on your, of your website and see this bar disappearing. There's no developer toolbar anymore. And now we're going to find out where this toolbar has been stored in the files. Therefore I open Coda. It's the tool I'm using for developing my website. I log in to my website. I go to App, Design, Front End, Default, Default and I open layout. In layout I can see the developer toolbar.xml it's the file uh, which calls the developer toolbar toolbar.phtml and that can be found in template developer toolbar and toolbar.phtml these two files are used to display the developer toolbar 
if you're using another theme on your website, it doesn't matter. It always finds default layout of default default layout and default default template. But only if you are using the default package. If you're using another package, you have to move these two files to the new package in order to uh, get this function displayed. We're going to back to the front end. Toolbar's gone. In this tutorial I displayed you how to install the developer toolbar and how to function with it. I showed you where it's stored and uh, now you can use it by yourself. This was a video tutorial from Jirio. Visit our website at jirio.com for more tutorials. Have fun creating cool magenta webshops. Until next time.